Surging. Natural looking makeup. Sounds like an oxymoron. Why would you put on makeup if you want to look natural? My goal today is to show you the subtle difference cosmetics can make. I also believe this is an achievable process, easy enough for almost anyone to follow. I will start by creating a foundation, then I will add dimension and complete the application with finishing touches of color and highlights. The first thing that we do in creating a foundation is color match our client with product. I've already done that to save time today with my model Kylie. You start by picking a product that will be good for your skin type and for the look that you wish to achieve. I have chosen a mineral makeup. The application is made easier by the tools that you use. Proper product, proper tool. With a mineral makeup, you use the brushes that come with the products. We start by using a concealer, and that is to hide any areas of concern that you may have with your skin. For Kylie, I'm going to use a concealer underneath her eyes to lighten the skin. It's a two-step process that I'm going to be using a product that is a cream base as well as a product. that I'm using is a, a line that comes with an instructional video that is easy enough for most people to follow. You can learn how to do this very easily simply by purchasing the product and following the instructions on the DVD. Natural looking makeup is something that is definitely in style today. There have been times in history where makeup has done many things. There have been periods where men and women have worn white on their faces, where they have done a lot of different, um, in the Egyptian period they used eyeliners and defined different parts of the face. Today a look that most people would like to achieve is a more natural look. Looking at Kylie you would see that she's a beautiful girl with beautiful skin. You would 
sometimes wonder why would she want to cover that up. What we are doing with the foundation is not creating a mask or covering anything. What we are doing is evening out her skin tone. The process with this style of foundation is simply applying the product in a circular manner around the face and the product when used with the proper tool applies very easily and evenly. Again, if there's any other areas of concern on the face that you need to even out, by using a smaller brush with synthetic bristles rather than natural bristles, that allows for more compact precision movement or placement of the product, we can cover any areas of concern. What creating a foundation does is just that. Blends the skin tone and alleviates any areas of concern that we may have. The next step in creating a natural look is adding dimension. Her skin may look somewhat one dimensional when it's all over the same color. What we want to do is add dimension and definition. I do that by using a bronzer. It's a color that may look extremely dark and you may wonder how on earth is that going to work. Again, proper product and proper tools. This is a wide brush. I apply a very small amount of the color and what I do is go around the face emphasizing the bone structure. Some people have 